If a man wanted to throw his arms around a woman in these parts, she'd have a hard time fighting him off. But you told me you own a canteen and you're always around these soldiers. Well, I mean, you must have learned some pretty good wrestling holds from them. Oh, sir, you must never say such a thing to a woman. Certain words stir a woman's blood to a state where she can no longer control herself. Well, I'm just a simple packer from the port. But there will be a roll call for the new man in a few minutes. Means there won't be anyone on the road for a very long time. Oh, well, if it's as late as all that, I better be hurrying back to Kilcoa. I still have a fish to buy. But don't you think it's a little bit late to spend your money that way? The fish are all sold in the shops. All clothes. Well, you see, I'm the kind of man with a great imagination. I'm usually fed up with the fish before I even see it. Most people go out to buy a fish, and the first thing they do is buy this fish. Second, they take this fish home. Third, they cook this fish. Fourth, they stuff their faces with this fish. And then, in bed at night, when they finally think they've won the battle with indigestion, that same little fish keeps after them. And all because they have no imagination. <laughs> all right. Let me suggest. Instead of spending your money on the fish, you buy this cucumber from me. Oh, but I really don't need a cucumber. Oh, I've never expected such an insult from you. But the water from the fish is already boiling. All right, I understand. Have it your own way oh, then. No, please. Believe me, I'd like very much to do you a favor. Be quiet. You're only making it worse. Oh, no, I don't want to disappoint you. If you still want to give me a price for the cucumber, I have the money right here. There's a man who can't say no. Careful, there's soldiers hiding over there. What could they want at this hour? Come on, give me my basket. No sense wasting my time talking to you any longer. Joke. Oh, really? A joke? <laughs> yeah, 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 
Isn't that right, dear sir? Isn't it just all would be joke? Well, yes, you might say it's all just a uh, big cigar. <laughs> Forgot the button is fly. Now shut up! <laughs> Army Field Manual. Maybe a book with certain shortcomings, but it is the only one on which a man, if he's a human being, can rely. Provides us with backbone. Absolves us of all responsibility before God. Pack up your old kit bag, Johnny. Really, Shelly! Polly Pinker! Just in the Now we arrive at a small hiatus in the proceedings. You're right, you? <laughs> People! In reality, a man would have to 
to dig a hole in the earth, fill it with dynamite, and blow the whole globe to bits before you'd realize he means business? Sergeant, I tell you, before the black rains of Nepal have fallen the lengths of two nights, you will be kindly disposed towards human failings. True, you might be the most righteous man under the sun. You, however, will sit at the table with insubordination, for your own crimes will be as countless as the sands of the sea. Well, then we would take drastic action, my love. Never fear. Then we would move against this petty and malicious bloody five with most fundamentally drastic means, as such said. You ain't men! Up to the naval and blistering sand for failing to have regulation haircuts! Ah! <laughs> A glass of whiskey for you, sir!